Hey, what is going on guys? Weevil YouTube here, back with another video, and welcome to another Answers to the Meta series. I haven't done one of these videos in a while, so what are, questions are we answering today? Well, basically, we are answering the kind of host of Mermail decks, which are topping lately. Um, all the other decks are pretty standard. I mean, you see your Rescue Rabbits and your Windups and your Insectors and your Agents and other things like that, but Mermails are the new kids on the block, and they need a bit of support to <laughs> win them that first YCS. And you also need something to be able to side against them to help you. I mean, there are obvious cases like Macrocosmos and Dimensional Fisher, which just do the job so, so well. But there are other neat little tech cards that your opponent might not expect. And one of these cards is Creature Swap. So I'm presuming you all know what this card does. Basically, you and your opponent choose one monster on your respective sides of the field and swap them with each other. This swap is permanent, which is really what makes Creature Swap such an amazing card. Now, normally in the past, you would use this in frog decks, most specifically with Treeborn Frog. You would special summon him in the standby phase with his effect. You would activate Creature Swap, swapping it with a stronger monster, and attack over the Treeborn Frog, who would of course be in attack position so you could deal some serious damage. But with the metagame evolving as it is, and Mermail is topping YCS events left, right and centre, we can assume the people are going to be using Creature Swap, if at all, in their Mermail decks. In fact, the guy who came second in YCS Barcelona may, uh, side decked two Creature Swaps, and I can presume he used them for this very reason. I was sort of inspired by his use of the Creature Swaps, and that is what inspired this video. Uh, so. What he would do, I presume, would be set a Mermail of Islanda, or summon any weak monster like Deep Sea Diva, Atlantean Marksman, or even Atlantean Heavy Infantry with zero attack points. Then he would activate Creature Swap, swap it with a stronger monster, and attack over that monster. In the case of Abyss Linda, he would get to special summon a Mermail from his deck. Okay, well there are a huge range of decks out there where a monster is being destroyed by battle is a positive thing for you. Uh, Mystic Tomatoes, All Searcher Cards, and Mermail of Islandas, stuff like that. So any deck in which the destruction of a monster, one of your monsters, by battle, is of benefit to you, Creature Swap might be for you. Um, any deck in which you can special summon weak monsters, or require weak monsters, in order to make stronger ones, and they're often stuck on your field for perhaps one or two turns, Creature Swap might be for you as well. Where Creature Swap might not be suitable is if you cannot guarantee that you can plus off the Creature Swap. Because it is a minus one, until you have attacked over that Abyss Linda, or that Mystic Tomato, or whatever else you intend to do. Uh, secondly, only use Creature Swap when your opponent controls one monster. If that monster happens to be Christia, as I've shown here, it is probably the best possible move you can make, because you're locking down your opponent, you're the one with the Christia on the field, and your opponent is just going to be mighty pissed off that you've done that to them. Specifically responding to the meta, you could take uh, a Rabbit Player's Dalka or their Lagia if it's lost its materials. You could take a Gores, since he's running most decks nowadays. You could take a Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon and Chaos Dragons. Christia, as I've said, in Agents. It's also really good against defensive walls, such as Wind of Zen Mains, Gachi Gachi Gantetsu, or Spirit Reaper. And in other situations, it's just obvious that you should use Creature Swap. But the fact of the matter is, it is a very simple card, and there's not really a lot more I can say about it. You should use it if you have small monsters that you want to replace with stronger ones, if there are strong monsters in the current meta that you're worried about, such as Christia, uh, Red Eyes Darkness, Metal Dragon, Light Pulsar Dragon, and Chaos Dragons, uh, Dark Ram Dragon, Lagia, Dalka, whatever the hell you want. Just replace it with little Treeborn Frogs, Atlantean Heavy Infantries, and other things. It usually nets you a plus of some kind, or at least a zero, and it's unconventional in the current meta in that not a lot of people are expecting it. However, after YCS Barcelona, I would say that a lot more people will be thinking about this card because people like the net deck. As with the cons, it is somewhat situational and that your opponent should really only have one monster in order for you to use it, <coughs> Christia. And it is a fact of minus one until you benefit from the effect of that monster, if at all. Okay guys, that is it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe, and of course hit that like button as always, and let me know what you think of Creature Swap. Do you think it is a viable side in the current format? If you side it, what do you side it against? Or do you even have it in your main deck, apart from in Frog decks, which is in which it is sort of a standard? And um, in my opinion, Creature Swap is an unconventional side, which the second place uh, winner in YCS Barcelona took to heart, and he decided to side in two of them, and it must have really, really helped him out, because it definitely brought him to second place. And the only reason that he lost was because of the stupid first turn <laughs> Macrocosmos plays that that Rabbit player had. Um, nevertheless, I would definitely try a Creature Swap at one copy. If you were indeed feeling bold, feeling a bit dangerous, then I would try it out of one and maybe another copy in the side deck. Anyway guys, that's it for the video today. Thanks for watching. Peace out.